Glasses, sunglasses, money. Your diary? No, God. Cindy, thanks. I would have died if I'd left this. You'll call right as soon as you land? Trust me. Leslie, dear. Come along, my darling. Okay. Paris awaits. It's bad form to keep a 747 waiting. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. We had a special request this evening for our youngest, purest, most virginal of young ladies. I can be that. Of course you can. <laughs> Be ready at eight. Don't be late for your date. Can't wait. Take care of my young ladies. My mission in life. Bye. To your future. I'll drink to that. And a cashier's check. $250,000 tax free. I must say, you've earned it. Michael, thanks. I can't thank you enough. No need, Leslie. The look in your eyes is enough. All the excitement. I didn't sleep much last night. Oh, you'll make up for that soon enough. Hey, why are you drinking? Oh, it's too early for me. It's not this way. We'll have a little change in itinerary. Paris is gonna have to wait for a little longer. The champagne. You put something in it? I'm afraid I did, yes. Would you like some more? <laughs> I need you! Ah! good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. I want bus benches. Sis, we have a very serious visibility problem here. People are cutting into our trade. Bus benches are the answer. Yes, I want the ones right across the street from the courthouse. Well, it's perfect. I mean, it's synergy. You know, cops, crooks, lawyers, all in the same place. My people. What? What do you mean they won't rent bus benches to bounty hunters? They rent it to Big Betty's bail bonds. What? Oh. You know what? This is discrimination, sis. I mean, it's restraint of trade. I want my face on a bus bench. Uh, my client's here. I gotta talk to you later. Yeah, love you. Bye. Robert Sixkiller? Yes, I am. 
Please call me Bobby, uh, and you are Lorraine Moran. It's so nice to meet you. Well, actually, we met a couple of years ago at the New Rancho Country Club. Could you believe those people? I mean, the fees those jackals were charging was outrageous. My husband is one of the founding members. Did I tell you I gave up golf? Let me get straight to the point. My daughter Cindy has run away from home. Well, I don't handle runaways, Ms. Moran. I'm offering you $20,000, and I'm not even asking you to bring her back. Yes, well, sometimes I do make exceptions. <clears throat> She was in the middle of her senior year at Campbell. She had good grades, nice friends. We gave her a party for her 18th birthday, and the next morning, she was gone without a trace. Well, she's not a minor. That's why the police won't help you. Has she done this kind of thing before? Twice, but she always stayed in town. A girlfriend received this from her in the mail. Hi from LA. This is a tall order, Ms. Moran. Los Angeles is another planet, and this was postmarked three weeks ago. Let me be completely honest with you. I don't entirely blame Cindy. My husband isn't what you call the ideal father. There's been trouble, and maybe it's better that she lives away from home. But if you can just find her and let me know she's okay, you'll have more than earned your payment in full. All right, I'll help you. Taken? You did ask for me, right? I, I did, yeah. I just never dreamed. I mean, Mr. Covington said that you were something special. Shirley Temple, please. <clears throat> what is your name? Cindy. Capital S. Hi, Cindy. I am, uh... John. You be John. It really is my name. How did I know that? My mom told me I should stay away from strange men. You a strange man, John? Me? Gee, uh, not particularly. Want to prove it? Hey, you can read. Do you know this girl? I heard she used to work here. Cindy. Yeah. She moved on to something better. You know where she went? Right not. She worked here for a couple of weeks. Actually roomed with me, too. And she met some guy at a club. Is uh, she in trouble? No. Why? Just wondering. One day, she's counting her tips like the rest of us. Next day, she's got a ton of cash, starts buying a lot of clothes and stuff, quits here, and then moves out. We didn't want her to pause it back or nothing. This guy that she met, was he like her sugar daddy? More like a boss, you know? He only came in once. Foreign guy, very smooth. Except he kept kind of leering at me. Didn't catch his name, did you? Michael something. And no, I don't know where you can find them. But uh, I'd look west to here. I mean, that's where all the money is. Patty, do you happen to know what Cindy did to earn all that money? 
Well, he wasn't no movie producer and she wasn't no MBA, if you know what I mean. Are you kidding? You're doing fabulous. One day and you've already found a roommate. Uh, ex-roommate, and I'm back at square one. Come on, you're hot on her trail. It's not a pretty trail, Bobby. I think she's turned pro. Hey, you don't want me to tell her mother that, do you? I think she's involved in some upscale operation. There's one more place I can try. How old do I look to you? Well, whatever you're guessing, you better add a few years. Hey, if you want to look your age, then you can turn back to your soaps right now. But if you don't, stay tuned. I'm Kat Calhoun, and this is a new miracle combination of science and nature. This is Reno Rains. Cut. Cat, please, could we? Give everybody lunch time. At 9.15? Lunch. Lunch. Oh, Reno. Oh. Boy, you look different. So what happened to that straight arrow cop? Oh, that's a long story. Mm -hmm. Um, what's with the movie crew? Oh, it's not a movie. It's an infomercial. An infomercial? On an escort service? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I quit that game. I'm legit. You mean you have really never seen me on TV? I was on CNN last week. Sorry, I, I don't get cable. Oh. Well, I've got my own line of skincare products. Cat Calhoun's Collagen Caress. <laughs> well, they look like they're working. <laughs> oh, well, I don't really use this stuff. I just buy it in bulk from Taiwan, and then I slap my label on it. These people in LA will buy anything if it raises your consciousness or lowers your age. Actually, I need another kind of help. Mm, pretty young thing. I didn't know you went for the prom queen type. No, no, she's a, a runaway. And I'm afraid she's fallen into that life. Well, she should do well. I could have used a few more like her back in the days when you used to bust me. Her ex-roommate says she's taken up with this high-end organization headed by Michael something or other. Yeah, well, that's easy. Michael Covington. Who? Michael Covington. You want young and hot in this town, and you've got bucks, and that's your guy. Can you tell me where to find him? On one condition. Name it. You find this guy, you got to kill him for me. Oh. I guess he was more than a passing acquaintance. Yeah, he's my stiffest competition. And then he made a play for me, and I fell for him like an idiot. And then he turned me over to the cops. You can tell me where to look for him? He runs a, a place on the west end of the Strip called the Society Club. And this guy can lead me to my runaway? Simplest thing in the world. All you have to do is place an order. What's eating you? I haven't heard from Leslie. Look, of course you haven't, silly. Come on. You know the rules. I know. No contact once we graduate. <sighs> but we made a deal. She was gonna call me the minute she landed in Paris. Oh boy, are you stupid. You want Michael to kick you out of here? Look, I just wanna talk to my friend. Cindy, it's not like we're secretaries here, okay? Michael could do major time. Hey, so could we. Exactly. And I'd like to know that if ever I decide that I'd like to run for president someday, that none of this is gonna come out. Okay, okay. I just hope nothing's wrong. Wrong? Wrong with whom? Wrong with me. I got some water in my ear and now it's getting sore. Oh, dear. Well, we can't have our best girl getting sick, can we? Come on, we're off to the uh, boardwalk. Shopping. <laughs> no, we need another girl. Want to replace Leslie. Oh, not today. Lovey, I'm turning away business, and that means I'm losing money, and I don't like that. Tomorrow, please. All right. Thanks. I'm looking for Michael Covington. Mr. Covington. I don't believe we've met. Vinny Costanegra, Dade County, Florida. I don't drink with strangers. We have friends in common. General Grant, Mr. Franklin, even President Cleveland. So what can I do for you, Mr. Costanegra? Well, I am far from home and sadly lacking in companionship. I prefer the kind of you supply. Kind of makes a man feel youthful, don't you think? Oh, I do indeed. Uh, Jeannie. 
very lovely indeed. But I prefer blondes, slim ones. Well, uh, we do have several to choose from. I like that one. Oh, she's very special. She's, uh, she's one of our most popular girls. She doesn't look busy to me. Cindy, come hither, my darling. This is Mr. Costanegra. He's from Miami. My pleasure. It will be, if you play your cards right. Mm. Price? For how long? One hour? Two hours? All night. How's an even thousand sound? Like a bargain. I'm at the region. Let's go. Have fun, children. And don't stay up late. Boss and secretary. How about the one where you're the daughter? Ooh. With two very worried parents in La Jolla. Wait a second. Get out of my way, I know karate. How oh, do you now? You should punch, not swing. Does daddy know you spent his precious money to buy my body? Actually, it's your mother's money. And she doesn't know anything. Look, she just asked me to make sure if you're OK. Yeah, well, here I am. Look OK to you? No needle tracks. You know, I haven't missed a meal. I miss a little sleep now and then. I'm not going to make you go back. You can trust me. I don't trust anybody. You got a lot of nerve, you know that? I know exactly what I'm doing. I play it very safe. There is no such thing in your line of work. So how did you find me, anyway? The old-fashioned way. I wore holes in my boots, OK? So, like, that's what you do for a living? You find people? Yeah. Can you find somebody for me? I can pay. That's not how it works, Cindy. Oh, gee. Then I guess we're done talking. Hey, if you think this is all fun and games, you better rethink it. You're not going to get out of prostitution without some heavy scars. Could you change your mind? Call me, please. Call me again sometime. Easiest grand I ever made. I've been trying to reach you all night. Where the heck have you been? Renewing an old friendship. On my nickel? On a lot of your nickels. I spent 300 bucks on a hotel, 600 bucks on a suit, and $1,000 on a date. Excuse me, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go have a heart attack. Hey, you wanted me to find Cindy. I found her. I know you did. She called me this morning. You're kidding. Look, she wants to hire you. She wants you to find some girl named Leslie Burton. Reno, is this girl OK? Oh, yes and no. She's alive and well, but she's working for a real piece of vermin named Michael Covington, who's got a whole stable of girls her age and younger. So talk her out of it. I can't. I try, but she's not listening. Make her listen. She said that she'd meet you on the boardwalk just south of Santa Monica Pier at 2 o'clock. Oh, by the way, don't shop. You got it. Thank you. Boots on the left a possibility? No. Too hard. You like them to be soft. Or at least able to fake it. Incoming, two o'clock. No. Too innocent. You never turn anyone where I know James. Care. It's too much money. Oh, Pops, it's for weeks. I'm out of here. See you later. Bingo. A deadhead anklet, and she just got dumped. Work your magic. I'm gonna go and scope the beach.
cool, huh? Can you afford it? On donut shop tips? In my dreams. You want to live some dreams? Who are you? Cindy. I used to have a slave gig like yours. Minimum wage. Parents had plenty of money, but didn't you think they'd share? No way, no way. Let me tell you what I did this week. Monday was the Black Crows at the Roxy. Tuesday was the beach. Wednesday was shopping. What is it exactly that you do? I date guys. Oh, please. I've never had a guy buy me anything more than a cheeseburger. That's because you gotta set the price up front. You mean you're a... <laughs> Get out of here. I could never do that. Sure you could. Come on, who was that guy that just left here? Some loser. They're all losers. Look, there's seven of us friends. We live in this great house in Hollywood. It's an endless party. Come on, you know, just come over for a swim, you know, check it out. Chicken? Sort of. Okay. Go back to donuts. So, uh, who owns this dream house? A man named Michael. He handles all the money and invests it for us. He charges a bundle and we get to keep 60%. Only 60? Hey, he takes all the risks. He pays for the doctors, hires lawyers if you need one. And if you want an education, Michael will cover that. He believes in that. And when you turn 25, you graduate, you get all your cash tax-free and get to live anywhere in the world except LA. How does that sound? It sounds too good to be true. <laughs> Truthfully, you barely need the cash anyway. The fridge is always loaded. He pays for all the clothes, you know, likes it to show off the merchandise. And he owns this fabulous club where you can hang out and get everything comped. Yeah, but what about the dates? And Michael screens them too. Occasionally, you know, we get a flake, but believe me, Michael protects his investments. So, you interested? I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> but what do I tell my folks, you know, my friends? Look, come over and meet the girls. We've all had to deal with that. What time do you get off? 3.30. I'll pick you up then. Okay. Cindy, you want to talk to me? Not now. Covington's here. Where? Close, too close. Who's Leslie Burton? Another girl who worked for Covington. She graduated 10 days ago. Graduated? She was old. She was turning 25. Michael was moving her off to Paris. She was supposed to call me. Look, hire me. I can't afford you. Look, I'll pay you back. Just call Covington and say you want to see me again, just for an hour. So, how was the fishing trip? Michael seemed to like it. <laughs> we did find one new girl. She's uh, coming over later to meet the family. What? Stace, could you just keep Jacob away from the car for a few minutes? Why? Please, it's important. Just flirt with him a little. He's crazy about you. Mm hmm OK, but you owe me. Mr. Covington, if Vinny Costanegra were here, uh, I'm the guy you set up last night. Yeah, what can I do for you? Well, listen, I, I just wanted to call you to tell you what a ball I had with Cindy, and uh, I'd like to uh, arrange a repeat performance. Well, uh, I'll see what I can do. Great. Something? My purse. Thought maybe I left it in here. In the trunk? No. The trunk was open. Maybe Jacob forgot to slam it. Okay. Well, you're on again tonight. I don't know what you did to Mr. Costanegra last night, but he's a happy man. Look, 
for the union label. Hey, 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 what's the deal, huh? I spring for a fancy hotel and you're staying here? Come on, what are these kind of things? There are lots of ways that you can hide your true age. Oh, you can burn your birth certificate, or you can kill your parents and everyone else who's ever known you. Or you can try something a lot less messy. Cat Calhoun's College and Caress. Rawr! Cut! Beautiful, beautiful. All right, that's a keeper. Let's move this camera in for a closer look. <laughs> hey, this is great. I know, isn't it something? I'm so glad you left the business, aren't you? No, 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 infomercials, infomercials. I should have thought about this before. What are you talking about? You know, this is a natural. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy some time on Court TV, go on camera, sincerely tell the legal community about our quality services. We bring in low lives. At low prices. We charge the same as everybody else. Oh, thank you, Lord, this is what I needed. Who's your handsome friend? Cat, this is Bobby Sixkiller. He thinks you were sent from heaven. Huh. Ms. Calhoun. Can you take the time to tell me about infonomics, budgets, returns, cost per thousand viewers? Yeah, I thought you were here to help with the missing girl. Me too. I am. I am. Shy checked all international flights to every country in Europe. The only Leslie Burton was Lord Leslie Burton, who was returning home to England from a business trip. Well, that's not good. You know, in all the years that I have known Michael, I've met a lot of sweet young things who work for him. What's your point? Well, I never met anyone who used to work for him. Hmm. Well, maybe we can check with the morgue, see if they have any recent Jane Doe's. I just don't have any pull with the coroner up here. I do. Hey, I used to handle some pretty strange requests. Ooh, I've had some kinky days before, but a trip to the body for men, you've got a sick idea of fun. Ooh. Hello, Cindy. Bobby, Kat, Cindy Moran. Let me guess, this is your death? We have some videotape that we'd like you to take a look at. Unidentified white female, DOA, 2100 hours, Sunday, November 18th. You guys are sick. You don't know her? No, I don't know her. Auto accident, 110 freeway at MLK, 1930 hours, Saturday, November 24. Vince, you can have your money back. Uh-uh, Cindy, please, just sit down. Unidentified white female DOA, God. Tuesday, November 27, 1100 hours. A preliminary cause of death, barbiturate poisoning, complicated by blunt force head trauma, possibly from steel toe boots. Leslie. <sighs> I still can't believe it. She was learning how to roll her R's. What? Her R's, you know, to speak French. She started to learn the language a year and a half ago when she was planning on moving. Only she never got to move. That OD thing is nothing but a lie, Vince. Leslie didn't do drugs. I believe you. You do? It's much easier to overdose a person who's clean than a person who's a chronic user. There's no tolerance. Cindy, I know you don't want to go home, and I know why, but I got to get you out of there. Bobby's got a sister, and uh, she's a great gal. No, Vince, I can't. Covington's a murderer. You don't get it. Let me get you safe. Bobby and the cops will take over from there. Vince, the other girls at his place, I put them there. I went out and found him for Michael, recruited them, told him how great the life was. I can't just leave. Then we'll have to get them all out of there. We have a problem. Yeah. What is it? The caviar came in sport again, did it? <laughs> Leslie, take a little red book of hers. The diary? No way. It's gone. And that's not funny, Jakey. I put it in the trunk, along with her bags and ID and stuff. Now it's not there. Cindy, where is she? Still with that Testa Verde guy. Why? Because I caught her snooping around the limo. She said she was looking for a bloody purse. Excuse me, are you Mr. Covington? Not a good time, friend. Yeah, so it's too bad. It's a bad time for you and I, yes? All right. What are you, Vice, Metro, fed on a loan or what? <laughs> you referred to me by my very good friend, Mr. Vince Costa Negra. 
So what can I do for you, Mr... Uh... Salomon Dean. I'm having a party. I am brokering an oil meeting between some Texans, and they would like the privilege to enjoy something they do not get at home. If you know what I mean. When's the party? Tomorrow afternoon, say, two till uh, whenever. You can supply the woman. Not a problem. Good. My friend Ben, she tells me it is $1,000 per night times eight. Uh, you don't happen to give volume discounts, no? Sorry. I'd have to cancel other engagements. That's the price. Take it or leave it. Yeah? I take it, my friend. <laughs> I am at the Regent Hotel, presidential suite. I will bring the hors d'oeuvres, and you'll make sure you bring the entrees. Yes? Yes. Crazy. This Costa Rica guy spending all his time with Cindy, and now this happens. It does make you wonder, doesn't it? Well, did they show up yet? Nope. I told them to, and I hate to be kept waiting. Well, just think, Bobby. In a couple of hours, eight beautiful young women will owe you their lives. Yeah, right, Reno. You know, this better work because we're spending all the profits. Yeah, and half of your infomercial budget. Good luck. Thanks. Hey, where are all the young women, huh? Where are all the Texans, my friend? Oh, well, you know those Texans, you know, they always have some stinking kind of problems, and they have floods over there, the oil prices is kind of going down and all those kind of things. But uh, I'm here, and uh, I lied. I lied because I want all the young women to myself. I knew this was a scam. All right, what's really going on? No, no, really, it's a fantasy of mine. You know, all those young women to myself for me. You have a problem with that? Yeah, you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a distraction. Just a little distraction. Speak to the house. Where'd you go? I had to take a cab back here. You've been a very, very naughty girl. Michael's righteously angry at you. Why? What'd I do? We'll discuss it when he gets back here. Let's discuss it now. All of us. Leslie is dead. Look, I saw her body. Oh my God. It's awful. I hate to break this to you, but Michael Covington has no intention of letting any of you guys leave here alive. These days, he doped Leslie up with downers, and Jacob kicked her to death. I saw the police report, and look, when I asked you to distract Jacob yesterday, this was what I was looking for. My God. We can talk about all this later. Right now, we have to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Take the girls out the back. I'll meet you on the street. Everybody in? Let's go.
Who needs the fountain of youth? You've got cats, college, and caress. Damn it. Cat, what's the matter? What's wrong? You've blown four takes already. Nothing. Come on, honey, where's that sparkle? Where's that magic? Cat, we got a problem. This is a circus. What the hell's going on here? This is a wrap, Tony. No, we can't stop now. I mean, we're almost finished. I said this is a wrap, and you need to get the hell out of here. Love your makeup. Let's go, guys. You might go into shock. Go get a blanket off my bed. And look in the bathroom. There's some gauze and alcohol. You're lucky. I think it went in and it went out. <laughs> yeah, lucky, right. You're killing me here, you know. I got Lisa Gibbons coming in half an hour. Damn. What was that for? Just in case you die on me. <sighs> Come here. Look, Covington has these girls completely under his thumb. I'm really worried about him. You gotta help me out, okay? Come on, guys. This is no time for sweet nothings. Who are your playmates? I told him to stay inside. You know first aid? High school health class. Oh, good enough. Pressure on the wound, front and back. I'm gonna call for help. I can finally do something for you. You've done so much for me. Uh, no obligation. Ow. I think I'm breaking the first rule of my business. Yeah, what's that? Ever fall in love with one of your customers? I forgot the easy tape. Yep. Hi, it's Kat Calhoun. Uh, this is not a good time, Cat. I wouldn't hang up too fast. You'll be sorry. I said this is not a good time. I have got seven teenage girls and one bleeding guy who looks like he's a refugee from Woodstock parked at my house. Now, I think they belong to you. And I suggest you get over here and pick them up before they wreck my Berber. Unless you'd prefer that I call Lieutenant Gorman and Vice. I'm gonna go. What? Dear old friend, Cat just rat us out, that's what. Cindy, wait. You see why I don't trust people? You know, you think you know them, you know, but you never really do. Do you trust me? Well, do you? <laughs> okay, look. Get the girls together. Go into Cat's bedroom, okay? There's a gun in the bedstand. Have you ever used one before? Yeah, my dad made me learn. <sighs> Good girl. Don't open the door to anybody but me, okay? Go, go! Where's Michael? Where are the girls? Out by the pool. House. We made love in every room. Now, where are the girls? Chopped liver, huh? Oh, 
I? <laughs> you know, I've, I've got three of these faces in my, my home in Maui. And... <laughs> Remember, this is the 90s. There is no need to look your true age. So try Cat Calhoun's Collagen Caress, because you're only as young as they think you are. <laughs> Does it work on shoulder wounds? It works on everything. Well, sign me up. Don't say it unless you mean it. You're looking at my new distribution manager. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, real glamorous. Pack the box, mail the box, pack the box, mail the box. I have something that I want to show all of you. Bobby. No, no, come on. unprofessional riffraff that shows up in your office with an absconded felon who's been on the run for three days and smells like a horse barn, hmm? This, you look like Dracula. Shh, 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 And in the next 30 minutes, I intend to show you how Six Killer Enterprises can help you get rid of all your bounty hunting headaches forever. Wow. Hey, take care of yourself, okay? I will. Given me a hell of a gift, Vince. You're welcome. I trusted you, now I trust Cat and Bobby. Maybe this thing multiplies. <laughs> Maybe. Be good. <laughs> 